uh, uh, Baraka, uh, there's just, in, we got to cut to your apartment, and it's just jam-packed with old, moldy, nasty bread. It's like, oh, you can't even hardly move. You're like, you're like moving out of the way and it's like piling up on yeah, you. There's birds at the window just trying to peck the skin. <laughs> <Yeah. they can't laughs> there's pigeons all over Somewhere. the place. Oh, there's a bunch of dogs. Um, can I reach in and pull out a kohlrabi person? Um, you can try, I guess. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, he's I, he's I wasn't a sure shotgun. if we're like, like, like what no, reality we're in. So no, you're in, a, you're in, Bracca Kramer's apartment. Okay. Across the hall I'm from. I'm saying Bracca Kramer could have Kohlrabi people. Absolutely, as well. you could, but That's don't. Totally her MO. It's, it's totally uh, your Kohlrabi friends are drowned in bread. <laughs> uh, they're just filled with bread. <laughs> like you pose them drowning in bread. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come back when they're rich. <laughs> You're interviewing them too. Yes. Yeah. On the. <laughs> God, I love that. Uh, that on, the episode. Borrowed, on, the, on the stolen set of Dick Cavett. Yeah. <laughs> God, that episode is so good. <laughs> it's so inexplicable. He's just there on the set. Hear the music. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm drowning in bread. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, a new uh, new woman uh, opened the door and it's just a just a flood Dogs! of bread. <laughs> <laughs> a tidal wave of bread. Some muffins fall out, and you're very particular about getting them back. Wait, those are all the best ones. <laughs> How's the plan going, Brock? So I'm good. To, I'm starting to rethink it. I don't know if it's gonna work. No, no, you can't rethink it. This is just the start. It's always hard to start a business. Uh, but I really need you to bring those bags with the name on it, and that would be really great if you could bring those. That's the next part. You know I have a job, right? I have an actual job where I oh, do things. Oh. You think you're better than me? I've got a job. I'm doing new times full time. I do the mail. Uh, <laughs> mail. It's a very noble profession. I don't right. remember how I feel about this. We got to Lavar's apartment. Um, and there's a knock at the door. Hey! Are you ready for a date? Yeah, I'm like busy scrubbing off like a, a piece of Cheeto dust on my ruffled shirt or something. So and I answer the door. So you have a you have a date with uh, yeah, Zania so at eight p.m. But you have a date with uh, with Bertha. Her name was Bertha. Bertha yeah. At eight forty-five. Yes, I was hoping I could convince Bertha to come with me to Zania's. Uh, that way, uh, I can pay for her meal. He can pay for mine, and uh, then I will have someone to talk to. If I don't want to talk to him, I assuredly do not. Okay, so let's see if Bertha is able to come at 8 o'clock. Oh, she's not. That's so, okay. That's she's fine. She's still getting ready. We, we'll, uh, I understand. I can't quite, quite come yes. here at that time. Oh, your voice. Uh, <laughs> what are you saying about my voice? It sounds so good. Oh, wow. You want me to talk dirty to you? <laughs> No, we have, let's wait until we... Let me we pull the rabbit out of your ass. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. you like that? No, I'm not sure if I do yet, I actually. can tell by the laugh that you got a good one okay. going. All right, well, I have to go uh, finish getting ready. I will see you at 8.45 uh, where we agreed. Not if I see you sooner. Okay. Oh, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Just a laugh from me, Jason. Um, okay, so I was saying, it's like, hey, are you ready to go to my Uncle Poppy's yep. restaurant? Yep. I'm ready. Yep. Let's let's go. Get, because, let's do this. Hey, this is going to be all night. There's a line across the block. He's the best restaurant in all Old New York City. <laughs> Frank, Frank, I, have you been doing <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, Frank, I can't stay there all night. I have a thing at 8.45, but I would be happy to go now. What, are you double booking me? Uh, well, this was supposed to be just me and you, Lamar. It will be just me and you. Well, then maybe I got to get a second dinner. Uh, if you want to make up for the, this first dinner. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I am not sure how much free time I have. Uh, I'm very busy. I'm doing a lot of... Um, I don't know, adventuring or something. <laughs> That's all right. I, I, mean, like, I got plenty of time. I can, you know, we can have breakfast. Go on adventures with you. Yeah, be great. Yeah, be yeah, uh, your sidekick. Yeah, uh, you can pull me uh, out of the hat. No, there's insurance involved, and uh, I'm just not sure. All right, Jerry. All right, fine, 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 fine. You don't want, you don't want to, you don't like me. No, I'm not. That's fine. You no, don't like me, Frank. I'm not saying you yes. hate me. You hate me, Lavar. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Look, <laughs> you okay. hate me. Come on, look, look what I got. Because dude. I'm not as good of a magician as <laughs> you are. No, I'm. 
no, you, I, you are as good a magician I have ever seen. Now look what I got you. I got you this little kitty cat card. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a little kitty cat card, huh? This little kitty cat. All right, fine. We'll, we'll go. Okay. Okay. We'll go to my my uncle's restaurant, but you hurt my feelings, Levon. I mean, I'm. I apologize. Uh, I'm very, very hey, sorry. You apologize? You mind if I record that? I, I'm not sure if... Can I record it so I can link it back to it later? I just want to make sure that you remember how this situation began. You destroyed a good portion of my, my motor car. <laughs> oh, yeah, and now sorry, I'm I here about apologizing that. about you. All right, uh, we cut to, uh, we 